Last night was our Blue Ridge Appreciation Night at the Barnstormers, and while we did have a rain delay, it didn't stop some of our loyal customers from taking advantage of the free voucher and free entertainment. News 11's Samantha Crawford was there for the first pitch and has the recap. Well, it was no typical night at Clipper Magazine Stadium, and no, not because of the torrential rain. Blue Ridge Communications held Community Appreciation Night and gave out free tickets to 3,000 of our most loyal customers. I decided, you know, we wanted to do some customer appreciation, community events, and so we decided to do something bigger that could embrace our entire viewing area, which goes everywhere from Adamstown to Mannheim. Cindy Mellinger was one of the lead organizers and has been planning this event for quite some time. I started planning this event maybe about three or four months ago. We've had wonderful business partners who've given out the vouchers all across our viewing area, so we want to say thank you to all of them for their participation. Despite the rain delay, thousands of people came out here to have a great time at the Blue Ridge Communications Community Appreciation Night. While they wait for the game to start, everyone's enjoying great activities on the concourse. I'm having lots of fun, and I'm really upset that it's raining, though. And it was raining pretty hard back at home, and I'm turning 10 today. First, first thing we did was get our face painted, and I think we're just going to go wander around for food. Well, we went, my family went over and we got to get french fries and burgers and we got to sit down and hang out even though it's raining. So it's raining. Besides the hot eats and giveaways, kids got to enjoy face painting from Joyful Canvas, coloring activities from Art of Recycle, and a magic act from Ariok the Magician. After an hour and a half of waiting, the game was officially on. And our very own Chad Landers threw the very first pitch. <laughs> Cindy was relieved that the game was a go and hopes to throw community appreciation events throughout the year. Thank you to our viewers, our subscribers, and we just wanted to say, you know, come out, enjoy it. We're having a lot of fun. They're getting their food. They're getting a chance to have fellowship with their friends and their family, and everybody's having a great time. Reporting in Lancaster at the Barnstormers, Samantha Crawford, News 11. Now, because of last night's downpour before the game, Barnstormer ownership says they will continue to accept all Blue Ridge night vouchers and unused tickets for the remainder of the games during this homestand, which runs now through June 30th. 